Are those potatoes? Hmm. I would say they look like potatoes. And there's radishes too. Which is very, very on brand. Very on brand for Yao Yao. No, it seems like potatoes. But like, ah. Uh, they look a bit, they look a bit like mangoes. Apples, watermelons, two buckets of potatoes, radishes, pumpkins, tomatoes, and I don't know what that is. Because it almost looks like potatoes part two, but I'm lemons. Lemons. <gasps> oh, oh, that looks like that didn't used to be there. I that used to be like the bit you couldn't see. There used, probably used to be a generic mountain there, but now you can see Chinu Vale, and you can also see the intent, like difference in green. <laughs> like this grass is a very yellow green. That's a very green, like blue green. And it's just so pretty. I'm gonna poke it. An elegantly assembled mysterious mechanism. For some reason, it is hard to keep your eyes off of it. It appears to be one of Clavertainer's new inventions, but it's hard to tell what it could be used for. It is quite pretty. It's like... I bet it's a music box. It looks a bit like a music box. A little handle and everything. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. <laughs> oh, that's such a look of fondness. Aww. I assume she's not buying it. Uh, can't you saw right through her. Why is she staring at a... Xian Yun? <laughs> is this like some secret backstory? Uh, Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Have we met before? No. No! That was a very suspicious no. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms, they always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. That sounds like a bird thing to say. Are we sure she's not secretly an adeptus? Or a bird that turned into a human or something? Approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbour, not unlike the one that you yourself lead? Oh, I think she's lonely. I think she's moving in. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that, that's such a weird... Oh, She misses her kids. <laughs> uh, well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pu pure white illuminated crane. A crane, you say? A white one? Hmm. I had a super high fever and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross, but then a snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to... Called Adeptus House and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. Hmm. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an Adeptus like that. <gasps> Ciao! I don't know why I didn't expect that. We're in Wangshu Inn and we're with an Adeptus. This is we're just meeting all the Adepti today, aren't we? Who else are we gonna meet? Uh, whoa, Shell, what are you doing here? All of a sudden, you scared the living daylights out of Paimon. I sent the non-human presence and decided to come take a look. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30 odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... <clears throat> One believes there was a little need to relive, relive bygone matters. 30 years ago, you say? Potentially, around the time when the grandma could have been... In the area? Mm. <laughs> Granny, are you okay? Ah, uh, back then at this place, I... Have this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given you are travelling with Clarpetain, I trust you are in good hands. Everyone, I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. When Xiao said he sensed a non-human presence... Was he talking about Clarpetain? Or the Granny? Or well, the kid, but... Because he knew it was Cloud Retainer. So I'm like, maybe he knew it was Cloud Retainer and the non-human presence was not Cloud Retainer. Or did he mean I felt somebody came over and, oh, it's Cloud Retainer? We don't know. We don't know yet. <laughs> Is she asleep? It appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come join one on this side. We shall give her some time to do herself.
Jack is over, but why do you look like you want to cry? The potion, it nearly, it's nearly run its course. I'd never get to meet you, not even for a second. <gasps> please, please no. What? Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind, one of the gentle breeze one of gentle breeze and morning dew, perfectly shadowed betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home, this is where you belong, you should have never left. The you of the past, the me from not that long ago, we should have never called it. <laughs> we should have never Ah, ah. That is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I... Once the remembers when you were but a fledgling, you possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. <laughs> oh, it was fate. <laughs> They've been playing hide and seek forever. Uh, the Gods of Prophecy have shown favour for Keiko. Yes, I think I guessed that correctly, pretty much. Was it my only guess? No. But I definitely said most of those things. Also, I figured out what I was doing wrong before. Turns out you actually have to like press things and then you can be a bird. <laughs> I was just doing it wrong. Undo great care to alter one's features and select the appropriate attire. Only after meticulous scrutiny did one finally sit out for Wang Shu in. She put on a fake moustache. A fake moustache. I love it. Upon finding you burning with fear, the one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. I knew it! But when asked you why, huh, apparently believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus because all limited cranes are white from tip to toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body to conceal the very nature of one's very gated nature of one's appearance. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any colouring. <laughs> Cloud retainer? <laughs> I'm quite impressed, but also she's been like the fairy godmother of this family all along, keeping an eye on them, checking in, literally flying away the sick child to make her better. You went as far as to put like, ma that's a massive powder puff <laughs> to make yourself pure white. Master, oh, it's you two again. Hello. <gasps> she's got a new dress and it's in the cloud retainer colours. I love it, the consistency here, making all of her disciples vaguely resemble her, we love it. With that in mind, I honestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. What he may have forgotten is that Mr. Zhong Li has no sense of how much money is worth. He buys everything and anything, so I would not trust his word. 